What's going on guys, Zanus here and today in this video of Exhaust Heroes, I'm going to recommend you guys the top 3 hero units that you should settle down with or you should pick when you are going to do your unlimited select recruit summons in this game. Yes, this game is really known for this one, the selection recruit for the beginners, for the starters, it's the beginner support system which actually allows you to keep on doing your selection recruit as long as you are unsatisfied with what you have got so far okay as soon as you get satisfied you can pretty much like just lock on your target and then just keep the heroes that you have got so far or else you can just keep on re-rolling over and over and over again okay and that's really great in my opinion it's gonna be so cool and that's the thing but the problem is that like the in the list right over here it's kind of limited uh, meaning like the heroes that are pretty much top tier or legendary tier or let's say the god tier units in this game are not available in this list okay which is so so bad like let's say Rachel alright and that is damn damn so sad so within this limited select pool uh, which heroes should you really pick out okay what are those heroes that are going to help you out a lot while you are clearing out the content in this game so what are those heroes let's go into the journal right off the bat and this is the place where we will actually see their skills their stuff and many other things that can pretty much be uh, useful for us whenever we are going to use them for the gameplay contents all right uh, well <laughs> I actually I'm uh, starting it in my you know the Nox player so it's kind of actually taking some time sorry about that one but the first unit is obviously going to be Baraka this man is going to be so good at first I actually kind of mistook him for a woman I mean like damn I nearly even met him my wife you like what yeah <laughs> please game don't make that kind of units like who have a face like face of a girl and then like body of a man like what hey come on man you can do it much better than that one anyways let's click on the magnifying glass and we will actually be able to go into it like you know the skill setups and everything right over there I'm really sorry about uh, <laughs> the pacing of this game right away here at this moment so let's go into the skill preview guys so right at the bat when uh, when we are talking about his first skill this assassin art he's actually going to deal up to 225% of damage to a one enemy which is kind of really good nuke but guess what guys with his second skill he is actually going to deal about 525% of damage to the single target which is like one of the best nuke in the entire game okay and that means like he will be really great he will be really awesome he will be uh, really good to use in many contents out there especially in the pvp content and against the boss fights yes against the boss fights he can really help you a lot and that's that's the thing right over there uh well even for the pbe content where let's say for uh when you if you want to really uh you know like uh clear out the story contents is going to help you out a lot as well uh, like one of the really best unit right over there but when it comes to the limited recruit select summon this man is the best that you can get so far like so if you get him settle down with him don't do or don't re-roll <laughs> again okay if you get him consider yourself lucky and just get him right over that he's gonna be the best unit right over there uh who can pretty much uh make your gameplay content just too easy okay and that's the baraka for you guys and what's gonna be the next unit that's gonna help you out a lot i would say it's gonna be bernadette okay bernadette is also a very good at a good hero at, who is really good at dealing a lot of damage all right uh AOE damage as well as the single target nuke <laughs> yeah anyways let's get into her uh, skill description and I'm actually going to tell you about that one Bernadette is like a very balanced type unit uh, especially for the PvE content like story progression content she's going to help you out a little bit better than the Baraka but when it comes to like PvP contents and the boss raid content or maze contents uh, I think she actually lags a little bit behind Baraka but still uh, they both are nearly at the same tier all right and that's the thing right up there but just by a slight difference I think uh, Baraka is better than Bernadette that's the thing that's the thing right over there but anyways let's talk about the Bernadette right over here so her uh, fast skill it deals 300% of damage to one enemy like wow that's a very good nuke right off the bat uh, her first skill is better than that of Baraka how about her second skill it says genius frost Witch. it says deals 178% of damage to all enemies now that's the AOE attack guys I really love AOE attack because like um you know like in a in the story content progression you would really want to have that kind of hero unit that can really control the crowd really efficiently and Bernadette can really provide to you guys in the table all right because like for Baraka uh, he is really a single target nuker 
Okay, and that's why he's really great for PvP content as well as the boss content. But for Bernadette, she is very balanced. I mean, like she has a single target nuke and also AoE damage as well, which can pretty much really annihilate the entire mob. And that's gonna be so great for Bernadette. And I really like this one. So this is why uh, Bernadette is going to be more beginner friendly than compared to Baraka, in my opinion. Baraka is like you have to keep on building him a little bit more in order to make him a little bit more effective, and you will. Uh, farm a bit slower compared to Bernadette with the Baraka. That's all there is to it. But for the end game contest, I think Baraka is obviously going to outsmart the Bernadette, okay? So that's the thing right over there, guys. Bernadette is obviously going to be one of the best pick right over there uh, when it comes to the select, uh, uh, you know, like the, 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 the limited select recruit. Anyways, the next unit is going to be Anastasia, the final unit, the third unit. This girl is super cool. I like her. She is going to be the best healer in the entire game. No questions asked. She can actually just really provide a lot of healing pool. And if you really are a big fan of healer, then Anastasia can really provide you on the table. All right. And that's the thing right up there. Anastasia is just really awesome. I just really like her. All right. Uh, but the problem is that like as a beginner, <laughs> you know, like she might not really help you in uh, clearing out the contents really fast. Uh, well, it might take you a longer time, but you know, if you are really trying to, uh, you know, like shape your game or let's say kind of plan your game for a very long period of time, if, like patiently, uh, you really don't have to clear the story really ASAP like me <laughs> because I have to make contents on this game, right? So yeah, uh, then you can go with Anastasia. She's going to heal a lot, guys, a lot. Just look at her fast skill, guys. It says heals all allies by 49%, freaking 49% of own max maximum health. Now that's really great and cleanse, cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effect from allies. Wow! Not only she is going to heal, she is going to cleanse all debuffs as well? What? That's super cool. I like it. I like it. Heal plus cleanse, damn it. That's really amazing. That's really great, guys. I really love that. And she's going to remove the dots as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Next uh, skill is going to be Sorceress uh, Desperado. <laughs> Spanish skill guys deals 525 percent of damage to one enemy. Wow, that's some really good damage. That's some really good damage, guys. But hey, I mean, like obviously, even though like she has really terrible nuke right over here, I mean, like that is a badass nuke. If you really are going to give her really good uh, attack stats or let's say you know, like damage stats, she obviously is going to deal some really good damage. But it's also going to impact her healing capability as well. So it's better to use as a use her as a healer rather than attacker but if you want to take uh, you know like use her as an attacker as well no problem at all no problemo she's actually going to deal some really insane damage all right and that's on the table but i would definitely try to use her as a healer and i would really love to give her uh, more of like hp and defense type of stats rather than the attack stats all right so that's the thing right over there and that's the desperado for you guys wow just look at that it just looks too cool Oh man, oh damn, I can actually forget to animate the skill of the Bernadette. Shit. Oh my god, her eyes are glowing! Jesus! <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> oh wow, that's insane, that's cool, I like it, I like it. The Frozen Fear! Alright, so there we go. Uh, that's the Anastasia for you guys. Uh, anyways, let's go back to Bernadette and let's see like how our skills really look like. I'm sorry about that one, I can actually really forget uh, about the Bernadette skills. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, anyways, I'm pretty happy. I'm really pretty happy uh, with uh, getting the Bernadette because like I've got Bernadette uh, there in the select pool and I'm actually going to receive her a little bit later, okay? So let's go into the skill review and then right over here, this is going to be her ultimate skill. So Genius Frost Witch, just look at that. I'm really sorry for a little bit of laggish uh, effect going on or happening in the game. Alright, uh, because like I'm using my PC and then like this game is kind of pretty much cruel for my PC guys. I really don't know like why. Uh, my RAM is just 8 GB. So maybe that's the problem, right? <laughs> Alright, that's our ultimate skill. This is going to be our fast skill. Frost King. Wow, she is really from that... Shit, I forgot the name of that movie. Oh my god, I forgot the name of that movie. Alicia, shit. Wow, I forgot the name of that movie. Damn it. All right. <laughs> All right. So that's that, guys. That's that. So these are the top three hero units that you should settle down with if you are a beginner and you would want to get the best hero unit that is possible to get from that free select, uh, free select summons. All right. Uh, first is obviously going to be the Baraka. And the next one is obviously going to be the Bernadette. And finally, uh, finally, finally, it's going to be Anastasia. Okay. 
obviously don't worry about the tier list guys i'm going to come up with the tier list on this game asap just keep on waiting for that one but for right now for the beginners to uh really settle down with your free select summon these three units are the best one so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel if you have any sort of like questions or queries that you really want to ask with me please let me know in the comment section below let's trigger a discussion all right can we at least do that yeah that's that all right see you guys in the next video